Miley Cyrus uh, was doing an interview and she was talking about her favorite places to perform. And she was talking about how much she loves London as opposed to other places. And that's not to say she doesn't like to perform in other countries, but she compared, you know, London to certain cities in the United States. And she says the following, my favorite place to perform is London because I have never seen more gay people in my whole life. Now apparently she has a pretty large gay following. Um, and she continues to say this, when I go to London, that's what it is. I feel like they're so much more open, much more than here in the US when they're uh, feeling uh, trapped where it's like, can I even say I believe in gay marriage? Can I say my favorite fans are my gay fans? Am I allowed to say that? Because half of America is still against it. Uh, controversy. I can't believe it. How dare Miley Cyrus say that uh, about America? Okay. Well, look, she's right. We're less liberal than Europe. And if you're a conservative, shouldn't you be celebrating that? Like, she wouldn't be like, yeah, that's right. We hate gay people more than London. Right. Ah ha! We rock. We're number one, right? So she's saying, well, since I don't hate gay people, I like a city that's more open to gay people. And by the way, you should love this free market, right? Gay people buy her music. They're her fans, or a lot of them are, right? Mm -hmm. So she thinks, well, I love them back. Makes sense. Capitalism, baby, right? And it's okay to say, look, I love America. I love going to Kentucky, all these different places that I've been, Tennessee, Mississippi, we're gonna go to Oregon soon, et cetera. I mean, I can keep going and going. I love the country, I love the different cities. Um, is it okay for me to say that I like London more than I like Fresno? <laughs> I don't know if it's not okay, but I'm saying it. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and it doesn't even have to do with gay people or anything like that. London's a gorgeous city and I love visiting there. Fresno's a little strange. I've never been to Fresno. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't sound fun. Just yeah, there's parts of California that I feel like 80% of the population is on dangerous drugs. Oh, okay. Well, that like, sounds great. Yeah, <laughs> like mm, I wouldn't. Have, like I wouldn't have taken that. <laughs> like that's the city where we went to a movie theater, and I saw somebody jump on top of a car and start punching the window. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> like, and then the car ran him over, and it was a normal day in Fresno. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Um, but to Miley Cyrus's point, I mean, I, obviously we're seeing um, the thought process shift a little bit, especially when it comes to uh, a lot of issues, gay marriage being one of them. And there was this business in Maryland, and Maryland, by the way, has just legalized same-sex marriage, which is awesome. Um, but there was this one business, it was a trolley business owned by this guy named Matt Grubbs, that uh, wants to completely stop doing services for weddings, like trolley services for weddings, because uh, now the law in Maryland says you can't discriminate against gay couples. So if a gay couple comes in and they want a trolley ride, you gotta give them the trolley ride. Well, they're like, fine, then we're gonna get rid of weddings so we don't have to do trolley rides for gay people. Is and trolley rides really that straight? Apparently. <laughs> I mean, can we have that conversation? <laughs> like, hey, you know what? I will not be giving my trolley to gay people. Yeah. Okay. Now look, I know, romantic couple, trolley rides, I yeah. got it. Yeah. Okay. Just give it a rest. But anyway, okay. the reason why I bring that up is because it was a news story that he was being so hateful. Like mm -hmm. people were talking about it, writing about it, and, and I like that because it shows that the attitudes are changing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair enough. Look, and you know, Anna said it was awesome the gay marriage is legal. Look, we live in a, such a weird state state of being that uh, we now like celebrate things that should be perfectly, not normally if gay marriage is legal or somebody got married, again, it's like Easter Bunny, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Like, have at it, <laughs> like it's not something to celebrate for me, like it's like, okay, oh, oh Bob and Susan got married? Fuck them, I mean, who cares, I don't know, right? <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But like, they, but we have this insanity in the country, we're like, oh, we can't let Bob and Steve get married! We hate Bob and Steve! So that like when you finally let Bob and Steve get married, I'm like, oh, thanks God. Yeah. <laughs> Bob and Steve are married when in fact I don't give a shit about Bob and Steve. I don't know Bob and Steve. Yeah. It's a crazy thing. One last thing. Miley Cyrus, this picture. This is what all the people who were known as kid stars, like, you know, she started out as a you know, acting as a kid, yeah. They, oh my, she's touching herself. Yeah. 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 Oh really? <laughs> this is what they all have to go to. Just to say, I'm an adult now, okay? So I can touch my crotch and wear really weird spiky things. Because I'm an adult, goddammit. I'm not just a kid's television star anymore. I know, I got it, mm -hmm. I got it.